Hello, welcome to Nigerian Food Channel. Today we'll be cooking one of Nigeria's popular soup. Um, this one today is um, Obeata Dindi. Now, um, as some would like to call it, fried stew. Obeata Dindi is a very popular uh, Nigerian soup which you can enjoy with um, rice and beans or rice, easy cooked rice or basmati rice. Okay, I'm going to show you very easy steps whereby you know even a novice can get in the kitchen you can get the ingredients and just get cooking so in the container here I've got um, my boiled uh, meat there's beef in there in here I've got cow tripe which is known as shaki in uh, in Yoruba okay that's already boiled and in this bowl here I've got me some turkey it's a mixture of both turkey and, and some pieces of chicken as well and on here I've got my uh, my pepper. I've got the mixture of um, red, uh, the big bell pepper, the yellow one, the green one. Got onions. Got the knife chopping board. And um, on here, I've got my palm oil. I've got the um, the um, the aromat seasoning. I've got no cube. I've got, I've got salt. Um, my plum tomatoes in the knee, uh, in the tin, and um, the last one being dried uh, mixed herbs. So with the with the pepper here, all right, it's it's up to you really. Just I just like to you know jazz things up, spice things up a little bit, keep it interesting uh, by having a mixture of these three bell peppers. You can actually do it with three red ones if you want. Right. I am going to very quickly just to let you know. I'm going to uh, cut the pepper into tiny bits. Uh, I'm not going to blend them at all because some people, you, if you like, you can blend um, blend your pepper and then not fully blend them to do your obiata dindi. But my own approach to it is just to cut this like this into, and they're going to go straight into the pot like this. Right here, I've got the um, the plum tomatoes straight out of the tin, so I'm just gonna chop them into smaller bits. Right, um, I've got all my pepper in here with the um, tomato plum as well. So they're going into here. I've got my palm oil and a tiny bit of vegetable oil. It's been on fire for roughly five minutes. Then I'm gonna add this. Be careful, watch your face, because this is blazing hot right now. So I'm gonna add this. tomato juice from the plum tomato in the bulk containers so this helps to garnish the the mixture and I'm going to add uh, just a little bit of water there you go and then I'm going to add uh, Two no cubes, break them. They're a bit tough, but uh, get past it. Put that in there. I've got my dried, my dried thyme, just a little bit, okay. Then I've got my aromat seasoning, okay. That's all right, and um, just a tiny bit of salt. Now, bear in mind because we've already boiled the meat. The meat is going to go. You know, the assorted meat is going in here. Bear in mind, we've added a lot of ingredients, so don't put too much ingredients into your pepper because it ends up tasting too salty, and then you're not going to enjoy it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Just a tiny bit. There you go stay with this leave you on fire for like uh, 15 minutes ish and then we'll come back to check it right this is it this is what it looks like it's been on fire on medium heat for approximately 25 minutes ish okay so this is what it looks like 
and now look at that that looks absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna add my sauteed meat now right so I've got my sauteed uh, meat in there the beef the turkey uh, some chicken and then the cow tripe the shaki right and then stay once yeah. you stay together you just leave it on fire for roughly five more minutes look at that that looks really beautiful mm. so we'll leave it on fire for about five more minutes look at that man absolutely beautiful that looks really good there you go it's been served and you got your rice and beans with um, Nigerian fried stew or beatadidi with assorted meat and um, some diced plantain look at that man absolutely yummy delicious that looks great let's get you from this angle there you go so grab yourself the recipe and try your hands on it if you got any questions if you got any comments for me leave your comments below don't forget to subscribe to Nigerian food channel don't forget to spread the love share the videos across your social networking platforms and thanks for watching goodbye